Hi there, Steven here from Core Electronics. I'm here today to talk to you about making sound reactive lights using MakeCode and the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. The Circuit Playground Express is a great platform for educators, specifically because it's made to interface with MakeCode. And it's such a simple interface, it's drag and drop blocks rather than actually typing code. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of code in order to be able to use it. And it's really rewarding. There's some, it allows you to make some pretty complex programs without any knowledge at all, and you get good immediate results from it. So if we take a look at our board, we're going to use the microphone today. As you can see, I already have our sketch uploaded on the board. The microphone is right here on the board and it's marked with an ear. It's a really cool feature on the board because it's not just amplitude sensing like most microphones, it's also capable of sensing frequencies. So the result is pretty straightforward. As more sound is detected, more lights are lit up around the wheel and we have kind of a rainbow pattern that goes along with it. So let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at our code. If we open up make code, I'm using the Windows desktop version of the, of the interface for make code today rather than the in browser version. And I'll show you why in a minute. It's because we have, uh, because we'll be able to use the show console, which gives live readings from the, from the circuit playground express and that the program's free, you can get it on the Windows App Store or offline. So, the, just to show you how simple it is within MakeCode to make a program like this, is that we have our forever loop. If we take the graph command and then do input of sound level, then, and we say up to, um, we'll say up to 100, the, um, the microphone will return a value of zero to, zero, zero to 255. So if you wanna make your microphones seem a little more sensitive, then you can do a lower number like 100 like I have. So you don't need to yell at it in order to get all the lights to light up. But this program right here, is already enough to give you the results that we see right now on the board. It's that simple. Like this would take quite a bit of complicated math in a normal program, a normal programming language. And it can be quite a complex, complex program actually, but it's all just contained in this one block in make code. So that's, that's one of the ways that it really gives you like really good results without much which without too much work going into it. And just to add a little bit, another element to our program, we're gonna use the slide switch as well, which we haven't used yet. So within in inputs, we have a on slide switch moved command. So we'll have a on slide switch moved left and we'll do another one for right. And then we'll just have that control the brightness. So if we go into lights and grab a set brightness and put that within each, then we'll, we can set one way to be fully bright and the other way to be a little more dim. And because we're using the desktop version and our board's already connected, all we need to do to load our code onto the board is hit download. And it detects that we have a Circuit Playground Express already connect, connected automatically. It uploads our code, and now we have our code on the board, and it everything restarts and keeps going right away. So as we can see now, if we move the slide, slide switch to the right, we have much brighter lights. If we move them back to the left, then they're a little dimmer and a little easier on the eyes. So earlier I mentioned the serial monitor show console device option of the make code editor so i'll just show you that now if we look under the virtual interface we have a show console device button and this is a serial monitor that's in real time showing us what the microphone is sensing and then plotting it into a graph automatically 
So as you can see, while I'm talking, it's, it's spiking between four and 75. And when I'm silent, it's returning low values. And you can hover your mouse over the graph at any point and it'll show you what that value is. You can pause it and restart it. And uh, one of the coolest features I think is that up here in the top right corner, you can export the data and that will automatically take all the data that it's recorded and export it into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet where you can access it and manipulate it in any way you might want. And I think that's a really good tool for educators potentially that want to want to bring in a little bit more of a scientific experience with the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. So that wraps up my tutorial on how to make sound reactive lights using MakeCode for the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. We've got a lot more content over in our tutorials section. For this board using both Circuit Python and MakeCode, check out our forums if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for listening.